These young people enjoy jazz renditions of Gomitas' music. On their smartphones, they play fresh interpretations of the monks' melodies, performed by young pianist Tigran Hamasyan. For instance, let's take Hamasyan. What has he tried to do? He has tried to reinterpret Armenian hymns, the music of Gomitas, through jazz. Aravik, a political scientist, and Gor, a diplomat, are visiting the Gomitas Museum Institute for the first time. Chances are, they will continue their weekend at a discotheque or a jazz club that plays novel interpretations of Gomitas's music. The museum's eight exhibition halls reveal various aspects of Gomitas's character, including his optimism, humor, modesty, and in particular, his genius. In one of the exhibition halls, you see how Gomitas collected folk songs, how he stood aside so that peasants wouldn't notice him and be embarrassed by his presence, how he discreetly wrote down the songs they sang. Since opening its doors in 2015, the centenary of the Armenian Genocide, the Museum Institute has had over 26,000 visitors. It's Yerevan's newest museum and already its most popular. Many visitors are interested in Gomitas's personal life, despite the conventional belief that as a celibate priest, he had no family of his own and was not supposed to have much of a personal life. The work of enriching the museum's collection never stops. In fact, new material about Gomitas continues to be discovered throughout the countries he has been in. The museum treats every single document bearing the handwriting of the genius even the most insignificant piece of paper, as a holy relic. We conducted research at the Humboldt University of Berlin, where Gomitas studied music. We also brought material from Paris, France. One of the museum's collection's most valuable items is this piano. No one is allowed to touch it, except Charles Aznavour. To date, only Aznavour has been allowed to play on the piano that once belonged to Gomitas. Here, the work of Gomitas is not only exhibited, but also studied at length. Many aspects of the musical giant's legacy are still shrouded in mystery. The establishment of our museum as a center dedicated to Gomitas as well as medieval music will serve to contribute to future efforts of collecting and recording folk songs and studying the legacy of Gomitas. This is the world's foremost center for studying Gomitas' life and work. Not surprisingly, the museum receives on-site research requests by musicologists from across the globe. Recently, we received a research request from a student in Cyprus who is working on his second master's thesis, one that's dedicated to Gomitas. Another major activity of the museum is the continuation of Gomitas's groundbreaking decipherment of the medieval Armenian music notation system known as Khaz. The system is among the cornerstones of international ethnomusicology, as shown by this volume published in the United States. The cover of the book features an image of a Khaz notation. The editors of the book, which is dedicated to the music of various nations, are Jonathan McCollum of Washington College and David Herbert of Bergen University College. The volume includes an entire chapter on Armenian music, the Khaz system in particular. The establishment of the Gomidas Museum Institute was a pan-Armenian effort. In May 2013, at the annual meeting of the Hayastan Al-Armenia Fund's Board of Trustees, which includes community and cultural leaders from across the diaspora, the president introduced the museum construction project. Less than two years later, this Gomitasian temple, designed by architect Artur Mesjan, and located adjacent to the Gomitas Pantheon, became reality. The museum replaced the old House of Culture, which was built in 1949 and designed by architect Goryun Hagopya. The House of Culture building was donated to the museum project by the Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund. The Gomitas Museum Institute was built to honor the Armenian nation as a monument to pan-Armenian pride. Currently, the entire Gomitas archive is being digitized at the museum. As the initiators of the digitization project put it, Gomitas, 
who is considered the Mashtots of Armenian music, should not just be revered as an icon, but studied and enjoyed by scholars and music lovers. <laughs>